In this lesson, let's install a read-only domain controller from media. First of all, we will review the installation information, then export the Active Directory database using NTDS Util. After that, we will install the Rossi from the media. Finally, we'll sum up the lesson with the keynotes. Now we are going to install a Rossi LPVDC01 in this AD system. In a normal condition, we will have the Active Directory replicated from LPVDC01 to LPVDC01. However, in this case, the connection from Elgin Office to Chicago Data Center is only 112 kilobyte. So we should export the Active Directory database from LPVDC01 and ship it to LPVDC01 and install LPVDC01 from the media. And this is a typical installation in the real working environment. This table shows us the configurations of the VM. As you can see, the roles Active Directory, Domain Services, and DNS Server has been installed. And we also verify it has the connectivity to GPVDC01 and RPVDC01. This table shows us the list of tasks that we are going to perform First of all, we will export the Active Directory database from the domain controller RPVDC01. And we will copy the database to C media folder on LPVDC01. After that, we will create a group named Elgin Users. This group contains the users in Elgin Office that we allow password catching on the Rossi. Next, we will create an account named Elgin Admin. This account is used as a delegated administrator on the Rossi. After that, we will promote the VM to the Rossi in the domain hq.itlifeskills.local using the account administrator at itlifeskills.local. And we use the option to install from media and we specify the media is C media on LPVDC01. Now let's export the Active Directory database on the domain controller LPVDC01. To do that, we need to open the command prompt as the administrator. So first of all, we need to verify that we are on OPVDC01. So we need to type in the command host name, then hit enter. As you can see, we are on OPVDC01. Now let's type in the command ntdsutil, then hit enter. Now we put in the question mark to list all the options. And in this case, we need to activate instant and set as ntds. So let's type in the command activate instance and we put in the option NTDS and hit enter. Now we put in the question mark again. As you can see, there's the option for IFM, which stands for install for media, which create the Active Directory database. So let's type in IFM then hit enter. Now we put in the question mark again and then hit enter. As you can see, there's the option to create a full IFM media of the Active Directory database. So we type in the command create full and then we specify the location is C media on LPVDC01, then hit enter. 
and you can see it creating the snapshot and exporting the Active Directory database along with the registry files. Now let's verify it on the C media folder of our PVDC01. As you can see, it exports the Active Directory database along with the registries on C media folder of our PVDC01. Everything looks good. Now let's create Elgin admin user. To do that, we right click on the user container, select new and select user. And here we type in Elgin admin. And then we copy the Elgin admin and then paste it to user logon name and click next. And here we uncheck user must change the password at next log on and then we type in the password and we type in the same password in the confirm password box then click next and click finish now we need to create the elgin users group to do that we right click on the user container and then select new then select group and here we type in the group name Elgin users and we click OK. That's it. We have just created the Elgin admin user and Elgin users group. Let's promote this server to a Rossi using the option install for media. To do that, we first need to verify we copy the media folder over. So we open C media. As you can see, the active directory database along with the registry files was copied over to C media folder on LPVDC01. Now let's open the server manager and click to promote this server to a domain controller. Here we click on select and type in the username and we type in the password and we click on OK button. And here we select the domain hq.itlifeskills.local and then click next. So to promote this server to a Rossi, we need to select the option read only domain controller. Then we type in the directory services restore mode password. And we type in the same password in the confirm password box. Then we click on next. Here we click on select to delegate administrator account and we type in Elgin admin and then click on check names then click OK. And here we click add and we add the group Elgin users. Then click on check names then click OK. And then we remove the default group then click next. Here we need to select the domain controller OPVDC01 and we click on the option install for media and we select C media and click OK. So by selecting these two options, we first replicate the Active Directory database from C media and then we replicate all the delta chain from our PVDC01. Now let's click next and next and next and then we click on install and let the replication happen and after that it will reboot the server and make it a Rossi. This is the end of this lesson. Let's read the keynotes.